The tan trenches stretched out like a maze of despair, lined with debris and the shattered remains of war. The earth was torn, pockmarked with craters, and littered with the twisted, scorched carcasses of green tanks. Smoke rose in the distance, and the sound of distant gunfire still crackled through the air, like the last breaths of a dying beast. Inside the trenches, the soldiers of the Tan Empire were broken. Their once solid plastic forms cracked and chipped. One soldier, his left leg missing below the knee, sat slumped against the trench wall. His vacant eyes stared out at the wreckage around him, unable to find any hope in the destruction. Nearby, another soldier, his torso bearing a large, jagged hole, leaned against a machine gun post, hands trembling as he fumbled with his weapon. How long you think we got left? The first soldier asked, his voice a low rasp, barely audible over the distant battle. The second soldier didn't answer at first, his fingers shaking as he tried to reload the machine gun, even though it hadn't fired in hours. After a moment, he muttered, I don't know, but it ain't looking good. What's left of us? We're just holding on for what? The empire's shattered. The first soldier shook his head, eyes empty. Plastic bodies with nothing left in them. Damn near all the green tanks are scrapped too. Don't see a way out of this mess. Further down the trench, another tan soldier made his way through the narrow paths, his walk slow and uneven. His right arm had been damaged, a chunk of plastic missing, leaving a jagged edge. As he moved, he could hear the whispers of the other soldiers, voices thick with despair and longing. I miss home. Should have never left the factory, one muttered as the soldier passed. I can't feel anything anymore. Just want to see my family again, another voice said, hollow and distant. The soldier pressed on, the weight of the war heavy on his shoulders. Eventually, he came to the trench barracks, a dark and cramped space that felt more like a tomb than a place of rest. He entered quietly and sat down on one of the benches, letting out a long, exhausted breath. Across from him, in the shadows, Another soldier sat, his face hidden from view, unmoving and silent. The gunfire outside seemed distant now, muffled by the thick walls of the trench. The war felt as though it was happening in another world entirely, far away from where they sat. The soldier who had just entered leaned forward, resting his head in his hands. Suddenly, hurried footsteps echoed through the trench. A runner burst into the barracks, breathless and wide-eyed, his voice shaking as he shouted, Cease fire! The war is over! The Tan Empire has lost! The words hung in the air, heavy and unreal. The soldiers in the barracks froze, the shock hitting them like a physical blow. The soldier who had just entered lifted his head, his face a mask of disbelief. Lost? Just what were we even fighting for? He whispered, more to himself than anyone else. Across from him, the shadowed soldier stirred for the first time, his voice a low murmur in the dim light. It's finally over. The soldier in the shadows rose slowly, his movements deliberate and unnervingly calm. His face was still obscured as he stood, but his presence filled the small barracks with a strange tension. When he finally turned, his face emerged from the shadows, and the faint light revealed a deep frown etched into his features. But as he looked around at the other soldiers, his expression changed. The frown twisted into a wicked grin, and his eyes gleamed with something dark, something dangerous. Lost, he repeated, his voice gaining strength, his tone mocking. Our empire lost, no, this isn't over, this is far from over. The soldier's grin widened, becoming almost maniacal. His voice grew louder, filled with bitter rage and twisted determination. Those fucking pukes. You'll see. They think this war is over? Ha! Huh. We're just getting started. The other soldier stared at him, too stunned to respond. The sound of distant gunfire, once a constant reminder of the battle, faded into the background.
as his words echoed in the barracks, the air thick with an uneasy silence. The war was over, but for this soldier, it was clear. It was only the beginning.